What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel for another video. Today's video, I'm going to go over some commands and I'm going to go over some well-needed commands. Uh, stick around and get down there and hit that subscribe button. Alright, so first and foremost, the command that we are going to need on the dog above all else is going to be come back we're gonna need a recall on our dog recalling hounds can be a difficult thing it can be strenuous it can be hard to do when they're miles in the woods um, that's why we need to couple our toning we need to have toning as a recall we can have a nice loud holler like hip 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 come on and we're hollering and hollering and hollering and something that is not too hard to do at a very high volume to get a dog called out of the woods uh, whistles and just the just your run of the mill come uh, or come here those are all fine and dandy but we have to have that recall command or we are just always going to have a pain in our neck all right so the next command here that I've got down is go go get gone all right so this is kind of shooing our dog along if it's wanting to keep looking back at us go just go on right so this is another one we can say go we can say get we can say whatever we want to say but it needs to have some form of this command to where it is going to just take off right um in the direction that we want it to so this is another command that we are going to need um this one here i'm going to put this one in here and this one is kind of more of a laxy daisy one it's not such a right now this is kind of just to hurry your dog along so we're walking it off through the woods and it's kind of like mealing or getting sidetracked or going off in a direction we're not ready to have it go off in yet. We're just going to say, come, come on, come on. You know, hurry it along, hurry it along. Get up here. Get up here with us. You ain't got to come all the way to me, right? It's not uh, all the way right here to me. It's just like, stay with me where I'm going. Come, come on, right? <clears throat> it's kind of a lighter recall, but it's just more of a vicinity oriented stay within my vicinity pay attention where i'm going come with me this way so it's more of that type of uh command that is a, another really good one to have and that is going along with that would be paired kind of with the get out from behind me get out in front of me that kind of scenario um, which that is another command that we need to develop on a dog they're all going to be some form of come come on come here it's going to be all some form of that and we're going to pair it with these different uh, hand signals in these different situations this is also an, uh, the one that you need to have on your dog so another one here is we need to have one to get our dog to go hunting okay so there's a difference in pushing a dog along there's a difference in hurrying a dog up and there's a difference in taking off and hunting so this is probably more of an off leash thing but I always have a command when I cut my dog hunt him up get a coon you know something like that and if we're standing around and dogs kind of staying around we can say hunt them up and they'll just take off and they'll go hunting this is exactly the command that i'm talking about this is the one that we need we need some form of this command on our dog okay so another one that we're going to need and this one is very important this will save you a lot is this get out of that get out of that so if we we all seen it we take our dogs in the woods they want to sit there and they want to sniff a little pile they want to eat a little pile of poop or you know what roll around in some dead stuff or mess with some stuff they ain't supposed to be messing with get out of it right you're gonna get up and you're gonna go away from what you're doing that's a command that we need to have on our dog okay so that one will help you out a lot man uh you can shoo a dog off it or you can call a dog off it it don't matter but we need some form to do this okay so another one that we're going to need is talk to them right so talk to them is a speak or whatever we need that uh we need that command to amp a dog up get a dog to keep barking we need that on them um another one that we need is get on that tree get back on a tree we need that one that one them two should just be day one stuff um is talk to them and get on that tree you need a dog to know both of these things um getting real animated with the get on them and pointing uh something like that um dogs will take hand signal cues very easily and they will uh associate what you're saying with that hand signal so we can get to a point to where we're just going like this and it's getting back on a tree going like this and it's getting out from behind us this is all just built up processes and over time right so 
talk to them and get back on a tree. Uh, another one that we need here is we need uh, load up, right? So every time we're loading a dog, we're going to say load up, get in there, whatever the case may be, like uh, get in the box, whatever you want to say. We need a dog to be able to load and unload. So loading up and getting out of the box, right? So or in and out of the vehicles or whatever we're doing. They need to have that command on them. Uh, another command here that they need to have is shut up <laughs> they need to be able to shut up they need to know when to shut up they need to know when you know when you say it, they you mean it and they need to knock it off right so we need to have that command on there i would recommend this coming later in in the uh, training process wait a while to have this one on there if you can help it because it goes a long way for a dog to not know how to especially when we haven't got what we needed out of it yet so shut up is definitely one that's up there um here's a big one is going to be at okay so that's just a nice little bump sound like a little buzzer at, at, right we're going to get loud and aggressive with this one because this is the one that's going to stop our dog our dog is doing something that it's not supposed to be doing let's say we see our dog see something and try to bolt maybe it's a deer maybe it's trash maybe it's off game and it's getting ready or another dog and it's getting ready to bolt off over there at and it will just stop your dog and we need to be able to stop our dog from taking action or doing something that it's doing, right? So that's one that we need on there. Okay, so another one here that we're going to need is going to be drop it, okay? Drop it, let it go, dead, whatever you want to call it. Um, well, I, I wouldn't say dead for that, but drop it. So open your mouth, let me have it. We need drop it, um, and then we also need dead, okay? So dead or leave it so the dog goes oh i can't have this i'm gonna leave it alone now that's another command that we're gonna need on our dogs so all of these commands can go along the process right so talk to them and get on the tree and load up and get get out of that and shut up and stop and all these commands we can work on these as we're working through the process of training our dog while we're going through woods time and we will just build this context of uh, layers on the dog and then we can have you know utmost results the one that i would not even attempt to go in the woods with out is a recall on a dog you can get by with just having a recall on a dog i wouldn't recommend it it's not very fun um but yeah getting a dog to come back is definitely at the top is highest priority um i'll throw one little extra one in here and that is get in there okay so this is one that i like to use maybe a dog's milling around on the edge of a woods or where it's trying to get in uh it's what looking like it wants to go in somewhere maybe it's smelling something that's like but it just won't go get in there get in there or get in there get in there hunt it up right we're trying to send them off in that direction and get them to go ahead and break the brush and get in there after it okay so these can be find it get it go get it get in there you know whatever um these are all the top commands i think this is probably the the base the, the baseline commands that everybody should have on dogs or working towards this level of command on dogs. Now, pairing the recall with a whistle and pairing all these, all these commands with hand gestures and, uh, uh, you know, tones and things like that, we need to be doing this stuff. Um, so the way that I like to use the shock or use the tone or use the vibrate on a dog is um because we don't only tone we don't only have to tone for recall we can tone for them to get out of stuff we can tone for them to stop we can tone for things that tones are called for right um but let's say we told a dog ah, ah, don't do that and it's getting ready to bolt well the harder it bolts the harder we're going to get it right because they have to know your level of disobedience is going to be met with this level of repercussions, okay? So that's the way that I recommend doing it. I like to ease them into the process, and once they understand, if I disobey, this is where it goes, okay? So we don't always have to shock. We can tone, we can vibrate, 
right? But we need to work them through the process to let them know that, hey, there's a tone first, then there's going to be a vibrate, and then there's going to be a shock. But then once the dog knows that this is going to a shock, then it's going to go straight from you not listening to shock, right? The only exception that we're going to have is we might give a tone and then it's straight shock, right? Um, this is definitely something that the dogs will do they'll test their limits on this they'll try to slip you up they'll maybe make a loop around you and then bolt off behind you because that's what they want to do and then you catch them with all oh, crap okay zap get back here we're just going to skip tones in that kind of situation um some dogs they'll, they'll quit testing you so much other dogs they'll test you every time you turn around but these are some good commands that we should have on a dog and uh i'm going to jump into shout outs real quick Okay, so Mike Humphreys and Mike Parr, you know, you guys are awesome. You're here all the time. You guys are watching my stuff. I love it. Uh, I love talking to you guys. I love you guys leaving comments. It's awesome stuff. I, it's good to have support, man, and you guys really are some subscribers that make me feel supported here on the channel, and I thank you very much for that. Okay, so another one here is kind of going to be a new Kurt, I think. <laughs> uh, DW Hunter. DW Hunter, thank you for coming in. You seem like a really smart dude when it comes down to training dogs. You got a lot of good advice. Um, a lot of the stuff that you're you're commenting and you're letting me know, uh, it's some of the stuff. I I think you're kind of relatively new, but um, some of the stuff I've I've went over in quite a few videos. I've mentioned them here or there. Now I can't expect somebody to watch every single second of every video that I got and remember every single thing that I've said. But a lot of the stuff I've said here or there in one video or the other, um, and I, I, you know, I greatly appreciate that you come in and you watch the videos and you take the time to assess them and you have great, great comments. Like they're they're accurate, they're on point, and. They're supportive, you know, they're backing me up, they're backing up what I'm preaching for the most part, they're backing up the channel, and I, I you know, I like that, and uh, just a little thing about Tilly, right, you were saying no more treats, so I had two lines of thoughts here, and one line of thought was, okay, I'm going to keep her in the woods, and I'm going to keep getting more tree work, and I'm going to use the treats until I get to a level of tree work that I'm happy with. I was very happy with Tilly for her first four trees on her own free and clear, um, but she was only giving one bark and then coming back and I have to encourage her. I want her to go out there and I want her to tree, right? I want her to stay treed without coming back. I understand she's going to come back for the treats, but I also need her to understand that she's not getting treats until she stays on the tree longer, right? So this is the process I'm going to work her through. Um, and then I have about two months till season opens up. And what I plan on doing is, and this this one line of thought is, get her out there, get her to tree more, get her looking better on the tree, start peeling treats away, and then slip the uh, squirrels in. So the squirrels will be coming down about that time. And what will have happened here is I have played a trick on her that is all in my benefit. Um, she's treeing solo. She is barking without me telling her to. She is getting paid while I cannot get nothing down to her. And then once the squirrels come, she's going to be having squirrels. And then all of a sudden, it's like magic. Tilly is treeing squirrels and going. All because I outsmarted her and tricked her into treeing for me. And that would be that, right? Wrap it all up. Um, second line of thought here is to just put her up, right? So this is always an option, and this is always an option for all of you guys. If you are a hound hunter, if you are a hunter, and you are going through the training process, and you find yourself in a predicament like I am now, to where I have a dog that I need to have trained, I'm in the off season, I can't get nothing down to her, and what she really needs is squirrels coming down to further her along that much farther. Um, what I can do is I can put her up, right? So we can put a pin in it, we can place hold it, we can place marker it. Put her up until season comes around, take her back out, and she should be doing the same thing that she's doing now. Take her back out and start knocking squirrels down to her and work her that way. Uh, there is, there's caveats to all this stuff, right? Because she can go in the woods, but the woods that she's going to be going into that get stuff knocked down to her, the squirrels are going to be way thinner, right? They're going to be way, way, way thinner. So she's going to have to work twice as hard to get... Uh, to a tree and she's got to work twice as hard to get treed 
and then I'm gonna have the issue of keeping her treed while I knock something down. So there's a lot to that, but those are the two processes I'm looking at there. All right, so Jacob Fryer. Jacob Fryer, dude, you're awesome. Uh, I really enjoy that you like the channel so much, right? You're on the comments, you're in the Facebook groups, you're, you know, message me on Facebook. You are just the definition of a awesome subscriber. And I just want to thank you for that. Like, I really do. It, like I said about Mike and Humphreys and Mike Park, you guys are the definition of a very good support system here on the YouTube channel, man. And that's awesome. Um, so keep all the good stuff coming. So Stephen Bailey, Angel Musgrove, Charles Michael. Charles Michael, you guys are all new subscribers. Please keep coming in. Start leaving comments. Get in the Facebook groups. You guys are great, man. You guys are great. Um, Cody Hartsfield, you're another one. You know, fantastic stuff, you guys. Keep coming in. Keep, you know, showing up. Let me know what you guys want to see, and I'll try to get it out. I know a lot of you guys are here for the coon hunting stuff, and there's some guys here for the squirrel hunting stuff, and I got the squirrel dog, and I'm just doing all this stuff. But I, I try to just keep a straight shot. And if you guys, the coon hunters here, I want you to do is I want you to go watch the last training video I did on Tilly. I want you guys to go listen to the podcast where I had my little moment of my doubts and concerns about Tilly. And then I want you guys to watch the hunt video of Tilly. Because in those three videos, it encompasses me training her to do more nose work with the cage. And it encompasses me having my doubts about it and then it has the results of her training and as results of me having to figure my way out of kind of a pit and knowing the different aspects of how these female dogs actually work so that is a very tried and true example of how we should be processing information and how we should be applying information and applying our training and that was just over the course of a few days we go from no results to a dog training solo just with one simple day training, one tweak in our training and how we pay the dog and how we reward the dog. And then now the dog is here, right? So we leveled up uh, exponentially with with just the right thought process. So that's something I want to say there. Um, Jeff Jackson, hey man, you heard me on the video. You got on there and you, you know, we talked. You're, you are sweet man like getting out there staying dedicated staying true to it making sure your dog's going that's fantastic man and i just want to say something for every single one of my subscribers i know you guys come in here to get the information that you need or to get the help that you need or to get a clear mind and a clear picture in your head what you want to be doing and solve your problems but that is just that I'm not there with you guys. I'm not handling your dogs. I'm not dealing with your headaches. I'm not in your guys' woods. I'm not in your guys' state dealing with your state regulations. You guys are winning. You guys are doing it. You guys are taking it upon yourself. You're being proactive hunters. You're being proactive trainers. And you're being proactive subscribers. You guys are just doing it, right? So this is you guys. You guys do not accredit me for it. Um, I would like for you guys to, and I'd like for you to know what videos helped you the most so I can kind of keep my content moving in that kind of general direction. But all in all, you guys should pat yourselves on the back. And I greatly, greatly appreciate you guys, you know, allowing me to come along with you on your journey and get your dogs trained up and get your dogs doing what they need to be doing. But with that being said, guys, keep them treated.